maybe even as narrow as possible because I'm worried about evaporative loss. Like if we cut down all these trees in this area. Um, and so it's like almost, almost putting it, and, and this is like where, you know, kind of permaculture is like sectors and zones stuff comes in. Um, it's like, what if we made this thing actually long and narrow? Because um, like south is facing, um, so we could- Straight up it. and down. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But north is the top of the page. South is, is down below. So the sun's going to be coming in here. If we can leave all these, these are like 60, 70 foot tall trees. Um, if we can leave those trees there and just carve out this long thing, the it'll shade so much of this pond versus if we run it, you know, square, we carve out a big hunk of the forest. Um, like you'll lose a foot or two right. to evaporative losses a year. So you'll lose 50% of your right. pond. Right, right. Um, and so th yeah. this is, this is yeah. another reason why um like it's kind of the system you've got is actually really smart because you're you're using the sand as an underground reservoir yeah right and then and then you just got a culvert that's that's perforated and the water is just leaking into the culvert and then you're pumping out of air and the sand keeps it from evaporating evaporating but the problem is the sand is actually leaking under the ground and, and continuing on, on down slope and so the other reason i like this kind of bentonite liner and if we did some kind of a, of a, uh, like a long narrow liner like this, like this is actually, um, it's it's a, it's like a, an in ground swale, right? So, like if this whole thing is lined, and it's not, yeah, it's not very deep, but any of the water that's that that's that's flowing subsurface above slope is going to flow down this valley. And it's going to hit that impenetrable clay liner. And so like this dam should continue to fill up from the above ground uh, uh, or sorry, the, the, the underground water that's moving through the site. You know what I mean? Like they're, um, you follow me there, Curtis? It can do that with, with the liner in there? Oh, for sure. Cause like, yeah, like, I am. I don't, I don't understand how, Go well, ahead. I guess no. Sorry, no. I'm I'm wrong. If, in order to do that, we'd have to leave it off the backside. Right. Yeah. Um, but which maybe is not a good idea. Um, so now, but okay. Now here, here's another idea. Um, because I've, I've I've seen this before. We could trench in weeping tile. So this this elevation here is ten nineteen, right? Um, and if we're gonna go basically call it three meters down or sorry two meters down so we, we go up 319 320 321 uh, we go up here and uh and we could we could put in um or maybe it's a little taller but you could actually put in drainage tile like like the perforated pipe they put around basements and you could put that into the ground if you needed to and like use it as a as an underground collection um pit and then run it down slope so that it, pump, it that it actually pumped out over the top of your clay liner and oh. and like stop the water from like flowing underneath that membrane so it's, oh. it's, it's the same way like like all these farmers all over the world are putting in this this drainage tile to take that underground water and get it off their fields because it gets their plant roots wet but we could use that tile opposite and as, as the opposite and actually lay it down this we could we could do a trench the whole way down this valley you know crazy and then and then use it as like actually like a, like a collection thing to right. to stop any water from from going underneath this membrane um and oozing out i think that's a that's a better idea actually yeah now that i think wow. about it, it's just like you could literally start at this valley just trench four feet down and then stop whatever three meters above and then daylight it and like and or bring it out start bringing out above grade and then it would it would literally just drop into the top of your pond and any water that was falling into this valley um is going to get collected in there and so that the that's 300 and wow. 400 feet i think that pipe's only a dollar a foot so you're like 500 bucks for that big old pipe like a four inch drainage tile and that you you could easily dig that 
And which which is all it's the perforate perforated stuff, right? Yeah, it's the per, yeah, perforated drainage tile. I think it's like a dollar or two a foot. Yeah. So yeah, I think like five hundred bucks there. Um, and then and then we do some you know really good drainage to make sure that that this all this water flows in there. Um, we we build it so that the trees are going to shade it, and we can actually figure out like what the, the angle is because your sun is probably going to be. Uh, I don't know what, what's your latitude here. Uh, you, you're 49, so you'll be you'll be like 65. Um, the sun will be 65 degrees, so we can actually calculate how wide of a cut to make so that that zero sun on the longest day of the year ever touches that pond. 